Yeah, these Justin organic dark chocolate peanut butter cups are pretty good. Not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. Alrighty then. Where were we? We gotta keep moving on, I think. That's what we gotta do. Pinky! Oh, I just fell in a hole. This room looks familiar. Get some more vitality, though. Hmm. There just happens to be a crack in the wall. That's exciting. Boom! They're trying to hide these chests from me. Old bastards. And this one has a mimic, of course. For me X. Also, I should mention, yeah, we have a teardrop. We have the teardrop now. A crystallization of stellar energy in its purest form, and you can you 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 can use it with Mystic. I think it heals you. I don't recall, but let's find out, shall we? Might as well. Teardrop. It heals you. Heals you 875. That's not too bad. He heals you more more than a heal berry. So that's a thing. We got it. Ooh, a talisman. Which teaches status guard, I think. I'm not sure if everybody has that at this point. Maybe. Maybe not. Potion berry. Lucky card. Yes, we need another lucky card. Um, calm down, man. Oh no, that teaches you resurrection. Increases the chances of reviving from Fallen. Okay. That's cool, I guess. Not gonna worry about it right now, but... Still cool. Ow. Frosted Flakes! The stone slate is covered in mud. Got to use the freezer doll to clean that crap off. The white breath shall vanquish the darkness and expose the path. The path of righteousness. Hmm. Oh. Look at that bullshit. <laughs> it's going Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade up in here. So you just kind of got to look at your path here to, to see where to go. That's not going to go anywhere. Oh, what the hell? My freaking stick moved me to the right. I don't know why. I definitely got to call hacks on that bullshit. What the beep? What the beep? I say. I must screwed that up very badly. Gotta blame that on freaking 3D screwing me over. Freaking 3D graphics? I'm a retro gamer. I, I, I don't deal with 3D. You kidding me, man? That doesn't actually go anywhere. It's just like, whatever, dude. I don't even know. So I think there's another boss here coming up. Before we finish up here.
Oh boy. Why? Why must you interfere? All I want to do is help you, brother. You know, brother! With the pillar as my fate, I must devote my life to fill Gaia. Ugh! Ah! Am I a burden to you, brother? Am I an unworthy brother to you? You don't need me. Ah! Uh-oh. So we got a boss. All right, so... So on the last stream, I couldn't get past this boss fight because it glitched the game, and I literally tried pretty much everything you could do, and I just couldn't fix it, so I'm using an older version of... The, the, the dealio and it seems to work just fine but the game runs a little bit slower so but it does get through it so we have at least that so you want to use a lucky card fragile I mean I know this fight by heart by now because I've tested it so many damn times gala card and, va and overall, hi Hyper is more useful than Valiant. Because you typically only have one character that's actually damaged. So, Hyper is overall more useful. So he has 32,000 HP. He you can seal a Potion Berry if you want. He, he automatically drops a Fire Ring. Yeah. So basically, he has an AoE Fire Attack. A, a single target Fire Attack that he counters if you do ice, which is his weakness, which does over 2,000 damage, so you probably don't want to do that. And yeah, Flaming Zone, what he just did, that's what would glitch the game, making it impossible to get past this fight. Basically, that raises fire elemental damage for three turns. So, yeah. Otherwise, this fight is pretty much, uh, pretty easy, really. Yeah, so basically we just have to get until the next save opportunity, then I can switch back to the newer version that I've been using. Which which runs better, cause, yeah, because yeah, yeah, cause this is running uh, a little bit slower than it, sh than it would normally be. But that's how it goes. That's what we gotta deal with, man. But it's literally the only way to get through this fight. That's just the way it is. Heat stream. Yeah, that that's actually the physical fire attack. I mean, I think it's considered a fire attack, but it actually does a pretty good amount of damage. So yeah, this fight's not exactly complicated. Just keep it going, heal someone if they need to be healed, and yeah. Physical attacks are what you want to go for. Volcan and Trap, that's the AoE attack. It's not too bad. Especially if you have Fire Ward. So it's not going to hurt Gallows at all. Or <laughs> Gallows. Clive. Pop! So I guess we could do Valley if we wanted to. It's not going to help Clive any, but... We could still do it. Just for fun. Just for funsies. Maybe on the next turn, though. <laughs> I've done this fight so many times now. I pretty much know what's going to happen before it even happens. So there's nothing to be concerned with. Volcan and Trap. Sometimes he'll do his single target fire attack that'll... That'll hurt over 2,000 to someone. No, no joke. That's something you don't want. I do kind of need to heal Virginia now, though. Ooh, look at that. That was tasty. 
Boom! It's like hyper's wearing off. Dun, dun, dun. Ready and ten 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 three two one. I'm just glad I was able to find a way t to get past this because it really irritated me thinking that I wasn't going to be able to finish this game, you know? And the good thing about doing Green Thumb Mystic is that gives Virginia four experience multipliers automatically every time you do it. So that, 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 that's a good way to build that up. Too bad we couldn't do that with everybody. That'd be nice. Kind of sucks that we have to kind of have this fight slowed down, but at least we can get through it. That's that's the important thing. I could try and mess with the settings, but I really don't want to. I just want to get through this fight. I'll probably end up changing something that will make the fight glitch. So I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna mess with that. Not even gonna mess with it. Do, 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 do. He should be about done, though. I think he's kind of stuck up against the wall there, but... Or at least there was a wall. Wall kind of disappeared. Yeah, see, that is Fire Elemental. I thought, I thought so. I thought it was. Freaking Sedimendra. Stressing me out so damn much. What's wrong with you, dude? One more turn should do it, I would say. Well, we gotta do some reloading, so I don't know, but maybe. Still might do it. Ball cannon trap! Named after a dungeon from the first game. Aw, yeah. And Virginia need, need, needs to be healed again. She's basically the one that's going to be taking the most damage here. Oh, we may not need to heal after that. Nope, we got it. Okay. Cool. See, what would happen is we would win the fight, it would go to the, uh, you know, result. You would have to wait a, a few minutes for the result screen to come up, and then it would just be a black screen forever. So, yeah. But 56,000 Gala, 12,000 experience. Everybody gets over twice the experience. Virginia almost gets three times. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff there. So we basically just need to get to the next opportunity to save so I can switch over. I shall continue to summon as many times as it takes. Though I may have lost your trust, I now have power. Yes, Gaia swells within me. I think something else is swelling within you. That's enough! You listen to your big bro. Is this what you have to do in order to fight alongside me? What's gotten into you? She told me in my dream. The dream child told me. Oh, not this dream child nonsense again. The dream child? She told me the reason. I can't help you is because I lack power. And that as long as I have power, I would be able to fight alongside you. Whoa! Gallo's got knocked on his keister. Forgive me, brother. I have resorted to our lineage of priesthood to complete the agreement. What? You made an agreement? Yes. The Surge of Gaia will soon let loose. Oh, Surge comes from Gaia? Good to know. I'll keep that in mind. 
I may be too inexperienced to control it. It may even cause Filgaia harm. But... But since I have unleashed it, I will sacrifice my life to stop it. Oh boy. Shane! Thank you, brother. I really enjoyed hearing all the stories about your travels. Though I'm not familiar with the outside world, Thank you for the many memories I have come to love, Filgaia. Dude, that's kind of messed up, if you think about it. I am not afraid to risk my life for the Filgaia that I love. I will defend it. Dude, you haven't really seen, like, practically any of it. What are you talking about? How many times are you going to make me say enough is enough? I think Gowls is going to have to get the belt. You say you love Filgaia? You say you're not afraid to risk your life over Filgaia? Stop talking out of your ass. What the hell would you know about Filgaia? What makes you love it so much? You haven't as much ventured out of Basker and you say such big words? Give me a break. You tell them. You say my stories, my memories made you love Filgaia? That's just wrong. Let me tell you a little something about memories. Memories are not something you accept from others. Y y you gotta create them yourself, dude. It's something you yourself gain by living and experiencing. It's like... You and I aren't meant to fight together for Filgaia. You and I are meant to live together on Filgaia. Is living with me so boring as to forsake your duties of priesthood? Let's just live together and make memories of our own. There you go. You can't just create memories that belong to somebody else. That's just silly. I think it all settled down. Brother... The surge of Gaia has been subdued. But how? Oh, you know. They ran out of surge. That Now they gotta go down, down the street to the gas station to pick up another can. Aren't you forgetting that I'm your big brother? I may be wet behind the ears, but just like you, I too am a candidate to succeed the priesthood. There are two of us, see? If we combine our powers, we become one. There we go with that again. Through the incredible power of brotherhood, we can do anything. Remember? Even broke through that barrier. Oh, my dear brother. Well, uh, I gotta act like a big brother sometime, you know. What is that thing? Thank goodness you're safe. It's Werner! Werner Maxwell. God of the cowboy hats. I uh, sense an abnormal energy force, so I came here, but... Looks like you're already taking care of it. Yeah, we're way ahead of you, man. We're here to take care of business. You've done well. Thanks, but I really didn't have much to do with it. Looks like something's going down. Everything just got darker randomly. Oh, it's the dream child. Dream child. You know that girl? She's obviously an important character. 
if you couldn't tell, since she keeps popping up. Beatrice, yes, her name is Beatrice. I, I actually forgot what her name actually was. The lineage of priesthood didn't live up to my expectations. I thought it'd be a lot more interesting. Look at her red eyes. She doesn't look evil or anything. Nope. Interesting. You get a kick out of toying with people's hearts. I was just fulfilling his wish. I'm offended by your comment. Uh-oh. You offended her, Gallows. Good going. Beatrice, what nightmares are you wishing for now? You know her? My wish has always been the same. I just want a world where I can live. That's all. Oh, that's not too bad then, right? She turned into static and disappeared. It's not weird or anything. Daddy! So can we, like, save already and stuff? We have to take care of the boy first. There is something I would like to ask him as well. Let's head back to Baskar for now. I want to make sure he's alright. Let us. Thank you. I'm alright now. Daddy, what is it you're chasing? Does it have something to do with that girl? Is it something I can help you with? He's not chasing spirits, is he? What well, we finally arrived at the Yggdrasil system after searching for the cause of the world's decay. You were pondering about a darkness beyond Yggdrasil, were you not? Please tell us, what happened behind the scenes of the Yggdrasil accident? Something must have went down. That was no accident. It was an act of evil. The tragedy began in the same manner as it did the boy. One of our colleagues, Mons, was taken over by a demon. His mind? By a demon? Was it Siegfried? That colleague was Duran, the one who operated the generator. Duran from SD3. The dream demon Beatrice appeared inside his dreams and eventually controlled him. Ah, so Beatrice is, is the true villain of the story. Beatrice, so that's the name of that girl. Beatrice, who concealed herself inside the Information Library hiatus, took advantage of the fact that she herself is composed of electric signals. So, so she's like an AI. She's managed to connect with people's minds, dreams which are also composed of electric signals. This is what happened to Duran, but I'm sure there are plenty of other victims. Yeah, I'm sure there were. The dream demon, due to her unique composition, is hardly capable of affecting the real world herself. So she's got to use others. However, she can manipulate people by controlling their minds through dreams. That way, she was able to reach out to the real world without having to directly intervene. Mm. So my dream site was the dream child. All I saw was information being fed from the dream demon, Beatrice. I want you to tell me, what is it that Beatrice wants, and what is she trying to do? Why did she cause the Yggdrasil tragedy of ten years ago? I'm sorry. Most of the dreams Beatrice fed me were about the Blue Menace. Siegfried. Looking back now, I understand they referred to Siegfried and the Prophets. Which means Beatrice refused to help her fellow demon Siegfried. That's not all, but telling Shane, I think she made us interfere with his plans. A conflict of interest? Or was Siegfried's plan of Philgaia terraforming a hindrance to her hidden agenda? Hmm... 
I don't know, man. Anyhow, I plan to seal the hiatus, which has brought dangerous wisdom to this planet. Filgaia is our planet. All life stems from Filgaia. The demon's wisdom must be sealed so that no further harm will come about. Might be a good idea. I beg to differ. Oh? No doubt the information library hiatus has brought forth great harm and damage to this planet. The power of hiatus is enormous. However, I do not believe this power itself is evil. If we can use it effectively, or perhaps... I believe the planet scarred by the wisdom of hiatus should be restored by the wisdom of hiatus. Hmm. Forgive me, I got a little heated up. My professor and I once pursued the history of Filgaia together. Perhaps that is why I'm again seeing such a precious artifact as the hiatus. Hmm. That makes sense, I suppose. Uh-oh. Something's happening. Something is happening! This ain't good. You feel it too, Shane? I feel it from the southeast, near the peninsula. Suddenly, Hallie's there, just randomly. It is an evil force, like the demons, but far greater. Must be Beatrice. Beatrice, how dauntless of you. So, you need not hide inside the darkness of people's hearts anymore? You go find out what's behind this impact. What are you gonna do? I must go stop the hiatus. That is the only way I can atone. Let's get a move on. Can we save now, please? Yes, we can. Good. I want to go save. I want to drop a save. So I can go and switch. Switch Delia's. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now.